Hello, Pisces. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate you hitting that like button on the way and that subscription button too. And uh, thanks for the comments as well. I still read all my comments. Yeah, that I do. I enjoy them. Appreciate all the love you guys pour out in the comments. Of course, we got some people that still say some silly things, but <laughs> all in all, mostly love in the comments anymore. Thank you, Pisces. Also want to thank all my Pisces that have blessed me with donations, many of you. So very kind of you, my friends. Appreciate them all, large or small. Pisces, if you've blessed me with a donation, thank you. Of course, a big shout out and thank you to all my Ramble Nation members. I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. Uh, I do a live broadcast with members twice a week, every Wednesday night. I do a live broadcast for Ramblin' Nation. We uh, do Sunday Fun Day over there. Well, we give away t-shirts and tarot decks and all that fun stuff. I also do a live broadcast for Ramblin' Nation every Saturday night. Uh, or Saturday nights, I've been giving away a free reading <laughs> to members of Ramblin' Nation. That's always fun. And uh, <clears throat> any more uh, Saturday nights, I'm going to start uh, pulling cards for members during the live broadcast. And they ask a question. All that fun stuff. Anyway, if you've been thinking about becoming a member of Ramble Nation, love to have you. Join buttons right down below, right beside the subscription button. If it's not there, there's always a link in my description area. I'll take you over there to that membership page. I'll see many of you Wednesdays and Saturday nights. All right, Pisces, you know I got a party coming up. November 6th, beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. I got a meet and greet. Oh, yeah, big old tarot bash putting together here. Well, if it's tarot bash, we need some tarot readers. So I invited all my readers from Divinely Love Tarot. They're all going to be in the house reading cards. Batty's going to be in the house. You know her. Batty from Battison Intuitive Tarot. Yeah, she's going to be in the house reading cards. Of course, I'm going to be there reading cards, all kinds of fun stuff, giving away door prizes, tarot decks, t-shirts, free readings, all kinds of fun stuff. You know, the best thing about these kind of parties is the like-minded people. Amazing vibration in the house. These are fun. Anyway, there's a link, Pisces, in the description area. I'm going to take you over there and show you all the festivities we got going on. November 6th. I'm definitely looking forward to to see you face to face November 6th Pisces look the old wounded warrior came out here Pisces you know I feel that Pisces has finally finally let something go oh yeah a single card right there nine pinnacles finally let something go could have been tough I mean I'm looking at my clock it's 11 11 you know <laughs> a single card again Let's tune in. I really feel Pisces let something go. So something amazing could come in. Here we go. Here, oh yeah, nine cops, man. I'm loving tarot right here. You know, the wish fulfillment, the genie bottle. All right, let's tune in. Hey, tarot, I love team. Pisces is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Let me see, let me speak what I need. Help Pisces. See and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Pisces' highest good. Thank you so very much for that love, team. Cannot do this without you. All right, Pisces. We're going to throw a Celtic cross right here. I'm going to throw the base out with the love cards. See what they have to say, first and foremost. <clears throat> here we go. Love cards. Pisces, what do we got? Loving yourself first, that's what I'm talking about, Pisces. It's the key to it all right there. A little ooey gooey soft and chewy for you. From you. Yeah, there it is right there. Give me more, Pisces, Pisces, love, relationships. What do we got? Letting go. Letting go of the control issues. Letting things unfold. Letting go of what ain't working for you. Loving yourself first. May have your eye on something new. Hmm. Love is in the air around here. Oh, and this could be the one. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
This could be the one. You may have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Whew. We'll go with that right there. Uh, there's a reconciliation card, but the trust is upside down. That's what I said. Pisces, I do believe that they, many of you have let something go. So that something new can come in right here. Letting go, control issues, loving yourself first. These are amazing cards, Pisces. Here we go. Let's throw a cross out on top of this love team. Pisces, love, relationships. First card out. Two of wands. <laughs> Should I stay or should I go? Looking at a new world. Two of wands is about setting your intentions for me. About what you'd like to manifest in life. You know, it shows this character in two of wands. He's letting go or trying to let go of something over there, huh, Pisces? I'm just going to say, Pisces, let it go. May have your eye on a brand new world over here. Sending your ships out to sea. You know? <laughs> yeah, they're going to return full of spices. We'll see right there. Oh, three cups under, underneath that. Can talk about meeting new and exciting people. All right. All right. Here we go. What crosses over two wands? Pisces, love, relationship. <laughs> Seven cup came out. Oh, Lordy. After I said you could be meeting, a, you know, new people. <laughs> you definitely could be. Like I said, if you let something go, you know, I got a knight of swords that wants to come charging in here, you know. They never know what they lose until it's gone. Pisces loving themselves first right here. Seven cups. Now, old Uncle Mike is going to talk to you about seven cups, huh, Pisces? We know that the cup that we choose is the cup that we get. <laughs> All right. Let's rock and roll right here. Yeah, we want ten pins. That's what we want. That's what we want. Some solid, committed, stacking coins, all that good stuff. Here, here we go. Face of the spread. Pisces. What do we got? Oh, the old five of wands. The old tussle card right there on the base of the spread. Yeah, you know, the fighting, the arguing, the competition. All right. Let's get off of that. You know, it's a five, though. Fives are about change. Change for the better because of the contrast. I know, contrast. It's our friend. Because it shows us what we don't want. So we can set our intentions and manifest what we do want. Two of wands, seven cups. Enough of that. Enough of that. Oh, single. <laughs> oh, single. This is the third time this one's showing up. You know, my nine of pentacles, my independent, self-assured, confident business person right here. You know, there's a falcon up there. This is a source for me, meeting all the needs right here. All the coins going back to the beautiful house, the beautiful garden, beautiful silk gear. Showed up three times. And up all that five wands. Let's take a look at seven cup. What do we got here? Recent past. What's going on? Pisces. Oh, the sun showed up. <laughs> oh, the sun showed up. You know, I mean, follow your bliss. Follow your bliss. I mean, this character right here, the two of wands, looking at that world. That's just how, that's how it's laid out on the board right here. Seven cups, got a lot of options. Deal with something, you know, that was five wands in the past. And boom. Sun shows up. <laughs> hey, hermit. Mm. Let me take a little look at this right here. Ain't rushing into nothing. I see it. I get it. Letting go of the control issues. Letting things unfold. Here we go. Pisces. Crown the spread. Eight swords. Oh, that could still be being a little bit trapped, you know, mentally. About five wands, right? Getting yourself free. Because the sun showed up. Ten pens. What is the potential that showed up here, Pisces? Give me some on that eight swords, because Pisces needs a jailbreak, jailhouse of the mind. Here we go. What do we got? Ooh. Yeah. A solid, stable offer would help <laughs> Pisces get out of that eight swords. Well, you know, the sun could offer that up. Oh, death. Oh, loaded. This car been coming up a lot. It's a major arcana, right? It's about the transmutation of energy. Uh-huh. Ooh. Uh, you know, because there is no new, there's no new energy. So we have to take that old energy and we have to grind it down into the ground. 
Yeah. So it can come up on the other side behind our rototiller right there, where we can plant our roses at. Hmm. This is jailbreaking the mind here, but it has to do with the death cycle. Wow, death. The sun showed up. My Pisces. Whew, definitely letting something go, man. This is really good. Here we go. Here we go. Pisces, near future. Oh, oh, hey, a page is showing up around. I'm excited when a page shows up after the death cycle, right? Because that could be the new seed that's coming up in the garden of love, right? It's it's communication. It's a, it's a, it's a FaceTime card to me, telephone calls, right? It's communication in the 3D, maybe even a coffee date with the sun. <laughs> with the sun? Yeah, you know, Pisces can come out of this all up in the head one step at a time, letting things unfold right here. What's this? This could be the one. Because <laughs> you're loving yourself first. This is good, Pisces. Give me a card on Pisces right here. Thank you, love team. Oh, oh, Lord help us all. Three swords. Three swords, Pisces. I'm shaking them out. Here we go. We're, get, we're getting all this jailhouse. We're getting a jailbreak right here, Pisces. Here we go. Out, out, out. Get out of Pisces heart. Get out of Pisces read. Bye, swordsies. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, five ones. Bye-bye. Death. Whoa. Whoa. Pisces getting free. Here we go. Here we go. And there's a and it's showing up too. The sun's showing up. Because Pisces loving themselves first here. Alright. Give me an exterior influence. Two wands, seven cup. Oh, the old river of tears. Lord have mercy. Probably put a lot of work and a lot of effort. I know my Pisces, five wands right there, eight swords. But, you know, this is getting free up here, Knight of Pentacles and all that. You know, again, another five, right? The river of tears, a change because of the contrast, you know, no longer focusing on the spilled cups. But look, there's two cups behind them right here in this story. We're supposed to turn around and pick up these two cups of bliss and go over that bridge over troubled water. Yeah, back up to that high vibration castle right there. Yeah, change, change is here. That's why two wands, no more river tears from Pisces, seven cups. That's right. That's right. It looks like one of those cups is the right one. It looks like one of those cups is the sun showing up. As a page in the near future, bam, tower, sudden change. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's a king of swords came out. This is in the old hope or fear position. It is a face card. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, sun, moon, rising. I kind of like the energy of that king of swords here because this king of swords makes a head over heart decision. You know. They can be pretty cut and dry. And I, he came out after he came out after the tower. Ten wands as well. Enough. He keeps talking about Pisces putting down something they've been carrying for a while because the sun showed up. And there seems to be some talking right here, you know, with a with a, this could be the one card. That's nice. A little weather overall. So I think King of Swords is gonna drop the blow right here. Yeah, three wands. Wow. Weather overall. Here we go. <laughs> two of cups. That's the weather overall. Ooh, it's a two. So this is new for me, right? One, two. <laughs> it could be platonic. Standing under the tree. Pisces would like to stand under the tree right there. Yeah, pouring love cups into each other's love cups. Yeah, this is all about, you know. <laughs> New, baby. New, 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 new. I love it for you right there. Seven of Cups. So it's a nice, it's a nice uh, spread if you are, you know, looking for new. Definitely ending the old. <laughs> seven of Pins again. You put a lot of work into something, didn't you? But Seven of Wands came after that. Seven of Pins, right? It's working on something for a long time. Definitely didn't come in. Seven of Wands is, you know, my hero's card. It's somebody that's decided to stand up and do what's best for them. Choosing the path they're going to go down. 
I don't care who likes her or who don't like it. But one thing's for sure, there's a new sheriff in town. I mean, back to this old King of Swords energy right there. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Pisces. Pisces. Oh, two of wands. What, what's happening around here? Two of wands. Something, something hit the ground around here. Oh, five of wands. Five of wands again. You know, Pisces ain't, ain't looking for nothing that's <laughs> the mess. Got your mess alert up. That looks like a mess. That came out of the Seven of Cups and Two Wands. Yeah, the sun wouldn't appear to be the mess, but <laughs> probably gonna be talking about it in the near future. Another another contrast card came out on there. Wow, death. Is that the third time? Lord have mercy. Pisces definitely done with something. I don't even give me something on that five wands. Oh, and it's the cups. The, the that old contrast right there. Self-love, loving yourself first, the contrast, showing us what we don't want. <laughs> yeah, I want to love myself first. How about that? Enough of all this five wands. Done. Give me something bright and shiny. Give me some. oh, it's nine pins. What's going on? <laughs> Somebody's single. That's what's going on. Here we go. Give me something on that sun right there. Pisces. Ooh, strength card came out. Two major arcana. Wow. Two, two Leo energy right here. Just saying. But it's about uh, taming the beast. <laughs> Death card again. Lordy. Wow. Uh, strength, you're right. To go for the sun. Because eight swords is up here. All up in the head. Hero's card. Put a lot of work into something. Not going to put any more work into it. Strength from the universe. Go follow your son. Give me some of my eight swords. Nine of pins. Wow. King of love showed up. King of cups showed up. Crown and Pisces spread. I like that. You know, that's the old king of love right there. Oh, full card. Majors coming out all over, right? That's ooh la la, man. Give me some, give me some on a little page here in the near future. A little talky talking. A little talky talking. Here we go. Oh, five pins. <laughs> oh, somebody misses you. Lord, they keep showing up. Give me something. Give me some. It's retrograde season. Get out of my Pisces read right here. Somebody misses you. Give me some on this page right here. I saw that as a different energy. Oh, yeah, three pins. This can be about building building something new. <laughs> Give me some here. Come on, one more. Four pins came out on that. There is, there's more than one offer that's going to come in here. This is an offer from the, somebody you shut the door on. Man, I wish they'd just go away. You may have to pull out that King of Swords on them. But this is also an offer somebody wants to build with you right here. This is like two offers. I got two pages that come in in the near future. <laughs> One of them may live at a distance. Here we go. Here we go. What do we got? Three swords. Crazy spread, Pisces. Here we go. Three swords. What's on that? Freaking eight swords. Give me something. Let's get a jailbreak here for Pisces. Because it, it appears that the person that kept you in this loop is going to try and continue to keep you in this loop. Let's not do it. Let's not do it. You know, this could be, you know, I don't know, planning an escape route right here. There is some kind of new communication coming in here. This could be the one. There it is. Wow. Six swords finally showing up around here. Learning a lot of life lessons. I mean, that's the jailbreak right there. That's the jailbreak. It takes a minute to process this, especially with seven pins and you worked on something a long time. There's a jailbreak. Six swords. Yeah, come on. Let's go over there to Paradise Island where the sun, the Ace of Cups is at. Oh, and an ace of wands. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to something new, something passionate. 
Look, let's let's leave the River of Tears if you're still being pestered by it. These are great cards for the future right here. The butterflies coming out of the cocoon. Leaving the River of Tears right there for a passionate new beginning. Pisces, I'm loving on you. Oh, fool. <laughs> okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever it'll be, it'll be. Geronimo, here I go. Ooh, world card. Look at all these major arcana. Well, you played out something. This is an ending. So there can be a new beginning from a Pisces. Majors. Ma yeah, 10 wands, the end of a burdensome cycle. And guess what? Death card again. Here we go. Transmuting energy. Lord have mercy, Pisces. It was something on two cups right here. Letting some unfold, putting some to it to the to the final blow. Oh, King Queen of Pins came out on that. Hmm, interesting. Because I like the Queen of Pentacles. That's the catch, right? That's the page. That's what we want. Is the Queen, male or female. One more on that. And the magician. <laughs> oh man, I gotta give that energy to Pisces. That's all about manifesting a new beginning. It's all about manifesting your catch. Wow, the sun's here too, again, and nine cups. Dream dreamer. Dream dreamer, let it unfold. You're definitely letting something go. Six of wands, victory after the battle because of confidence in yourself. Three cups, happiness and joy and bliss. Whoo, I mean, processing. I mean, how many times a death card came out there? Processing, loving on yourself. It's beautiful. There is love here, Pisces. There is. You're definitely ending a cycle. May take a minute. But, I mean, who can who can ignore the sun that has showed up here twice in the world card? Whew. Follow your bliss. Give me a major right here. Pisces. Tower. How did I know it was going to be tower? Again, another contrast card. Resource gets involved in the situation. That's source striking the tower with that purple lightning bolt. Generally, the tower comes and things went on way too long. And source got involved in it because they loved a Pisces. There's <laughs> something special over here, Pisces. You probably know it is because I already got the, this could be the one card. And two cups as a flavor overall. Give me some Pisces. <laughs> yeah, chariot. Oh, chariot. Again, uh, they may live at a little distance from you, but that is a victory card. Yeah. Wow. Same cards. Same cards. Here we go. I'm going to show them to you one more time. Temperance. It's about being balanced because there's victory coming in here because of a tower. The world card again. Old cycles in and so the new cycles can come in. Wow. Death card, judgment. Come on, wheel of fortune. Pisces. Woo! I'm loving it for you. Loving on yourself right now. Doing what's best for you. I'm praying with you. Namaste, Pisces. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.